Hello, I'm Kyle. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use uh, ECD or Douyin microinverter. As we know, the first uh, Douyin generation microinverter, uh, it has to work with the ECD and the Wi-Fi module together. Uh, the ECD, you can use, this one is the ECD. It is used for communicate with the microinverter. And then also you need to connect the uh, the data log, the data, this data log is come from a shared monitor. And this uh, uh, data log, it, it used to communicate with the ECD and then uh, transfer the data of the microinverter to the server so that we can uh, we can monitor the plant on the, web, on the website and the, the smartphone. And this one is the microinverter 1.2 kilowatt. And, and this one is the DC source. Uh, it powered by AC and output uh, adjustable uh, DC voltage. And uh, this one is the ECD. Uh, let's uh, measure the DC voltage here. Okay, as we can see, the uh, the DC voltage is thirty nine point six volts. And I already connect uh, one, one set of a PV screen. And as we can see, the, uh, the LED stats is blinking, blinking in blue. It means this microwave water is uh, produce energy. Uh, now I'm going to show you how to the system connection. Here is the AC cable of a microinverter. Anything uh, from this cable and uh, connect to this uh, circuit brick and uh, uh, feed the energy to the grid. Uh, this is the uh, AC cable, AC cable now for the ECD and it is uh, connect to this socket with uh, 220 volts. And uh, now I'm going to connect to this uh, Wi-Fi module. And then we put uh, this cable to the to this port IS485. Okay, now I already uh, connected the Wi-Fi data log. And this uh, data log, I already configured the internet. So after several minutes, it will connect to the internet automatically. Here is the uh, uh, home page of uh, the ECD. As we can see here, it uh, tells uh, ECD. And then here is the system time. Here it shows the microinverter uh, number. Uh, currently, I already connect one piece of microinverter. So here it uh, tells one. Tells one. And uh, here is the latest power. It means the um, the last time the microinverter power. And uh, the second one is the total energy. It shows zero because I just uh, connected several minutes ago. Uh, it didn't update the data. And uh, the last one is the total energy. Uh, uh, this one I connected uh, yesterday. Uh, so it has the uh, total energy. So, here is 212 brush hour. Uh, when the ECD is uh, is powered on, and this 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 indicates, as you can see, it's blinking very fast. It means uh, the AC power is uh, the AC power is good. And this uh, and this indicator it will be on when the uh, ECD communicate with the microinverter to uh, receive the data. It will it will be on for uh, two or three seconds uh, for each uh, piece of microinverter. Okay, here, and we press the this button, panel button. Now we can see uh, currently this one is the uh, the first microinverter, inverter ID, this one. 
uh, 20069504. This is the uh, MIP input ID. And it shows power is zero because it didn't receive the, uh, the, the power data from the micro inverter yet. And here, uh, here it shows the B and the color is yellow. It means this ECD uh, communicated with the uh, micro inverter via B. And uh, uh, yellow, it means the communication is successfully but didn't receive the power from the uh, micro inverter. Or maybe the micro inverter didn't uh, produce energy. Um, but now the uh, MECD is produced the energy. Um, because this ECD uh, will uh, refresh the data every uh, 10 minutes. Okay, let's go back to the home page. Okay, I'm going to uh, delete uh, this, delete uh, this one. No, uh, uh, this page, it tells the system time. Uh, this, the second item is the ECD reset, inverter reset, and the ESC. ECD reset, it will clear the inverter, inverter data. Uh, such as the inverter ID and the inverter power and the uh, uh, the inverter generation data. Okay, let's have a try. Choose here. It will. Now, as we can see, once we press the button, it tells the power. The data is zero. You see the uh, the latest power total energy, the total. Is zero also the the inverter micro inverter's number also is zero. Okay, let's go and uh, just pay the gain. Uh, before we uh, clear, uh, we before we click the uh, ECD reset, uh, we can see the inverter ID here, but now it's uh, nothing. Okay, I'm going to add up this micro inverter again. Uh, this micro inverter uh, is uh, with the uh, uh, ZGB uh, module. Okay, we uh, click here. Oh, sorry, it's not here. We click the system, and then click the communicate communicator settings. Uh, and then, because this micro inverter used uh, ZigB, so we choose uh, ZigB. ZigB communication? Yes. Uh, okay, and then we click this, this button either. And we input uh, the micro inverter serial number. Two zero zero six one five nine zero zero four two zero zero six one five nine zero one five nine zero zero four. Okay, yes. And then we click the other. This is the week. Okay. It tells the uh, other inverter is okay. Okay. And then now, as we can see, uh, we already can see the uh, micro inverter serial number here. Uh, if you have uh, have the more micro inverters, you just can add this button again. One more time and uh, add more micro inverters. And now uh, the home page we already we can see the micro inverter connected number it becomes one, so it means uh, this micro inverter already communicate with the uh, ECD. Uh, the uh, ECD will update the micro inverter data about every ten minutes, and now the time is uh, 
uh, 9.25. So we need to wait uh, five minutes and come here again. Uh, and uh, now the time is uh, 9.29, uh, uh, 52 seconds. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you can see the second, uh, the second indicator is on. It's very quickly, and uh, also we uh, we can see here is the uh, here is the data already. The latest the latest power is two hundred and sixty one volts, and uh, also uh, here is the uh, data log. When the uh, when the data log, when the Wi-Fi data log configured successfully, all the uh, the four indicators were on. This is the power, the communication. This is the internet. Here is the uh, server. Here is the PN number. Sometimes if you uh, something wrong with the uh, with the micro inverter, uh, we need uh, we need to know the the PN number of the data log because we need to search this data log on the monitoring platform uh, via this PN number. Also, when the uh, when it get gets the power from the micro inverter, it will choose here. The latest power, 261 volts, and also here the, is the color is becomes green, from the yellow to green. It means the already uh, uh, get the data from the micro inverter successfully. <laughs> 